What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off today. We got ourselves a weakness policy Garantina team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out across the channel. It is crazy. You guys are amazing. But shout out to my boy Noah for dropping this team. It looks fire. I cannot wait to hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this team. But Garatina is our first Pokemon to show off. We're going to be talking about him first. He's got the pressure ability, and he's got the weakness policy as his item. So once we get that proc, we can actually roll out and dominate with him. He's Ghost and Dragon type. I really do like that typing. But the move set of Draco Meteor for stab, Shadow Ball for stab, Earth Power for coverage, and then Protect as our final move. Right next to him to the right side is one of the two Pokemon that can actually proc our weakness policy. We got Confi with the Triage ability, Fabiri Berry for seal type moves, Allies Switch to protect allies, Floral Healing to heal up, Draining Kiss, and Trick Room in case we ever need to use it. Beyond my face cam is the second of the two Pokemon that I can actually proc Garatina's weakness policy, and that is Mamoswine over here. This Pokemon is an absolute beast. We have the Focus Ash on it so it doesn't get one tap, Oblivious ability, Ice Shard to proc weakness policy, or go for first turn priority, Icicle Spirit, High Horsepower, both for stab moves, and Protect as a final move. Right next to him, we got Celesteel. Celesteel can rock out in many instances, especially in Trick Room. So if he has a very fast team, we can roll out with Trick Room and get Celesteel in there and potentially dominate that battle. We got the Beast Boost ability, the Power Herb, because this thing's rocking Meteor Beam. And you guys know that move is absolutely amazing. Let's got Flash Cannon for Stab, Wide Guard to protect our Pokemon from double hitting moves from the opposing team, and protect as our final move. Bottom left corner, we got Regilecki over here. Very fast, very hard hitting Pokemon with the Transistor ability, the Magnet item, and then Thunder Wave, the Paralyzed Pokemon, Electro Web to slow him down, Eerie Impulse to lower Special Attack, and Thunderbolt for Stab. This thing can work well up against the Rain teams, such as Kyogre, considering that's pretty big in today's meta. Then in the final spot, we have Gyarados. Intimidate Gyarados to be exact, and Intimidate is an amazing ability. You guys know every team basically gotta be rocking the Intimidate. It's so good, it just drops Physical Attack by turn one just by getting your Pokemon out there, and it rocks out pretty strong. We got a, that Assault Vest so we can eat up some special attacking shots, and then a normal move set for a Gyarados with the Waterfall, the Bounce, Power Whip, and EQ. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Garatina team. First battle coming at you guys, this guy's rocking out with Kyogre. Thank God we got our boy Regilecki on this team. I'm definitely going to bring him in considering it does work up against the Kyogre and the Talonflame. So we're going to be getting after it with him. I'm definitely going to lead Garatina, try to proc weakness policy. I actually want to check stats out because I did not practice or do anything with this team so far. He's got 111 speed, which is bad. And this thing is really bulky as well. Look at that defense. 156 and 157 on each side. I'm liking that. There's a nice little special attack with it too. Also, yeah, we got the Confi, pretty normal with the Confi. Mamma Swine, big attacker. Let's got Celesteel, big special attacker. My boy right here, Reg Lecky, quick boy. And we got Gyarados over here, speed and HP. I'm liking that. Okay, I'm gonna bring Garatina. I think I lead Garatina. He has the, uh, what's called as well? Uh, the Serene, which I really don't like. With that, I'm actually gonna go Mamma Swine here, because the ice is actually really good here. I'm gonna bring Gar or Reg Lecky, and then I think I might bring Gyarados as the final spot. Gyarados for that Intimidate, yeah. You got, you got a few physical attackers up in there. We're going to bring him in here and try to get ourselves this win. But I'm trying to think, if he leads Serene right here, if he, say he leads that Pokemon, and has Cleanly Majesty, can I still go for Ice Shards? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if I can still go for Ice Shards because of that, uh, that ability. I don't know if it just works up against them or all around in battle. We're still going to try it out if it does come in. Let's see. going to go. Please don't lead it so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, Regilecki and uh, Talonflame. Okay, I'm with it. We're going to go Mammo, Mammo, and Garatina. I'm going to Dynamax and try to get rid of this, uh... Who do I try to get rid of, actually? The Regilecki? Yeah. Because probably Talonflame Sash. I can totally see it being Sash. And I can Dynamax, and... Hmm. I want to drop their attack. I'd rather drop Attack Stat. Hmm. Yeah, let's drop Attack Stat. We get Stab. Or do I want a Special Defense boost? Because who could you bring in here after you get off a of Tailwind? Kyogre could come in here. And I kind of want to make, make myself a bit more bulky. So I am going to go after you with that move. And I am just going to Ice Shard and proc this policy. We might swap. It's totally fine. We might swap. No, he's not going to swap. Because I believe the swap would have came out before the Dynamax animation would have happened. But yeah, he's definitely going to set up a Tailwind here. And I think he's going to try to get af after my Mammoth Swan. Or maybe my Garantina. My Garantina is going to start bulking up as well here. Which is really nice. Because Kyogre is a big threat. I'm really like... Look, I'm, looking, I'm really looking like Kyogre is 
his main threat. So I'd rather get that special defense boost. Focus up a little bit more. And there goes the Tailwind. Okay, so Tailwind's popping out here. We're going to be able to proc this policy. Get a plus one on special defense as well, which is nice. Bang. Give me that policy, baby. And Regilecki, make a move. He's not going to go after my Mammoth Swarm. I really am wondering what he's going to do. Is he going to set up a screen? I might set up a screen here. Let's see what he does. He is going to set up a screen. Okay, so we're special attacking. So that's huge. That is huge. That he goes for the reflect. The Regilecki should be dead here. We go up plus one on special attack or special defense. We are plus two on special attack now, which is beautiful. Big old boost right there. We still have our Sash for our Mammoth Swine, which is great. And the only, the only problem is he has speed right now. He has speed. And I could just roll into an Intimidate depending on what Pokemon he does roll after. If he brings out another physical attacker, I am going to swap. He might just go for a Fire Blitz here. Let's see who he goes into. Who are you going into, kind sir? Show me another physical. Show me another physical attacker. I mean, let me just get a quick swap in on this. Let's see. He's going to roll into it. He's going to roll into Kyogre. And like I said, this, this is a big boy threat. This is a big boy threat. I actually might protect this turn. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about protecting on my... Uh, good job, defense. That would be nice. But I'd rather get after this Talon Flame. Actually, do I want to get after a Talon Flame? I am Sash. I am Sash. So I could actually just take out the Town Flame. Town Flame could be Sash. So I'm thinking it might, but I'd rather do as much damage as I can over onto this Kyogre slot. And then actually just drop a nice little Icicle Spear over onto Town Flame. And if it is Sash, next turn I'll be able to just Ice Shard and take it out. But yeah, he is going to Dynamax. We are plus one on Special Defense with my Pokemon. And I do have a Sash roll. So I wonder what is going to happen. I really do. He has a reflect up. Oh, he's Dynamax and Talonflame. Yo, dude, you crazy. You crazy. So, this is going to be nice. This is going to be nice that we're going to be able to get off a Wormwind here. And my Sash should be able to proc here. My Airstream. Let's see what he does. He's just going to go straight for an Airstream on my Garatina. Garatina should be able to eat just fine. He's so bulky. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I don't think he was expecting that, that type of bulk right there. He's getting a speed boost. I don't really care about it, considering he already had it with the Tailwind. Ice Cream's going to come through. Oh, my bulk. The bulk is insane. Icicle Spear comes out here. Doesn't do a lot of damage. That thing's eating up. Our fire type. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I was thinking it was a uh, Icicle Crash. That was the move I was thinking of. But we're getting after it. We hit three times. That's totally fine. And Wormwind's going to come through here. Drop Talonflame's attack to minus one, which is huge. And I might swap. Do I swap here? How do I play this one? There goes the minus one. Do I swap for the Intimidate? Or I could just go for the bulk move. I could bulk up here. Yeah, we're going to bulk up our special defense. And I am just going to drop yet another Icicle Spear into Town Flame slot. That's going to be play. He's going to double up into my Garatine again. He's going to withdraw the Kyrie. Okay. So what are we going to Quake on? What are we Quaking on? Rillaboom. Okay. Man, I wish I would have did a, uh, a Warm one now. I'll get an Intimidate out here next turn. That'll be the play. Cover in the battlefield. He goes to Airstream. He's going to start boosting real boom speed. Okay, that's totally fine. The Garatina's just bulking, man. He's just bulking, bulking. <laughs> He's such a beast. Hopefully, I can get off one more shot after this with Garatina. Which I think I should be able to. If I just swap into Garatina. Or not Garatina, Gyarados. And then we still have Regilecki in the back. That will cover that Kyogre and Talon Flame with me. We already took out one of his Pokemon. Another three turn hit. Wish we would have got a four or five. Here goes our Quake. We're going to bop this thing. Do a little bit of damage. It eats that up pretty well. Okay. Now we're sitting here. I don't have my Dynamax anymore. He's probably going to double up into me. Uh, what's the player? Do I take out... I think I take out Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom's posing the biggest threat here. Right? Rillaboom's definitely posing the biggest threat. I think I go into Intimidate and then get after the... Rillaboom. Yeah. Battle Ball or Draco Meteor. I think we get off another turn here. I think Shadow Ball will pick up a KO here. Let me just swap Mammoth Swan because I still have my Sash, which is absolutely amazing. I still 100% have my Sash. And we're in the rain. The rain is definitely going to help out my uh, my Gyarados when it hits up on this talent flame in a little bit. Gyarados, get out there. Drop that Intimidate. Bro, Garatina's amazing. He's such a cool looking Pokemon too. Super bulky. He's just eating up these shots left and right. He's going to flare. He's going to change up the weather. Gyarados is going to be able to eat that up all day. That's light work. 
That's light, light work. Especially he's minus two. Bill Boom is now minus one. And I should be able to take it out. I should be able to eat up whatever shot he has to offer here. It's gonna be a glide. No, it's gonna be a knockoff. We should be able to eat that up. Even though it's super effective, that's easy eats. For the bulky boy. Shadow Ball comes out. I'm thinking it should be able to pick up the KO. Tell it to get out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> this thing eats up everything that's thrown at him. Two max airstreams. What else he's, he's been eating? He ate up two max airstreams. Um, a bunch of other shots from Kyogre. An ice beam. Like <laughs> He doesn't play around a knockoff. He's just eating. He's eating all day. Out goes Kyogre. Uh, Drizzle's coming back out here. So I'm just going to waterfall into town flame slot. There goes his Dynamax turns are over. And we're sitting so well considering I have Regilek in the back. Be easy. I could protect you. I could protect you. But I'm just going to Shadow Ball over on you. I'm going to pose. I'm going to pose big threat. I'm just going to Waterfall over on this slot. If he protects somebody, that's his play. He's going to Tailwind. Okay. So Talonflame is definitely going to go down here because Kyogre is going to go after Garatina. Unless you miss your Ice Beam. Oh, he's going for an Origin Pulse. Gyarados avoids that. I think, uh, actually, let's call him. Might be able to eat that. Garatina. He's plus two. He's so bulky, man. He's so bulky. That's GG's. That's GG. Waterfall comes out here. Picks up the KO on Talonflame. Shadow Ball is going to say, get out of my face. Oh, my Lord. Like, when my boy Noah made this team, he was like, yeah, Gar I made Garatina bulk here. But I wasn't expecting this bulky. This thing's an absolute unit. Eating up shots left and right and absolutely dominating this battle. Let's get it, guys. Starting off this video with a big fat W, we're heading into our second battle here. This guy has a Sogaleo team over here alongside with Spectre. Um, who else is that? Glaring, Moltres, Grimmsnarl, Porygon2, and Tapu Fini. Okay, so very, very special attacking. Here. Very, very, very special attacking. So, um, what can I go into? Do I go in with the Garakina combo again? I could totally do that. I could try to get after it that way. We are ghost typing. It works out pretty well here. I could go in with Comfy instead of uh, Mamoswine. I kind of like. He does have that Steel typing onto that Solgaleo. But we do have Babiri Berry, so we should be able to eat up fine. So I'm going to lead them too. I kind of want Assault Fest Gyarados in the back. He covers a lot. He has a lot of coverage moves as well. And then in the final spot, do I go with... He does have Trickern. He does have Trickern. But do I go Regilecki instead? I feel like Regilecki should come in here as a back-end Pokemon for that Finny and that... uh. That Moltres, I kind of like this. I'm kind of like this. I'm going to try proc policy here, get rolling early, and then uh, maybe just ally switch and have Compi go down, get in Regilecki or Gyarados. He's very, very special attacking, so that Assault Vest is going to help us out. And hopefully I can get some bulks off with my max Quakes and maybe get some special defense boost and roll from there. Let's just see who he's going to lose. Make your move, man. Make your move. Porygon 2 and Grimstar are going to come out here. Okay, so I can I can proc policy here all day, and I can also switch up the trick room later if I want to. So he can screen, he can fake out. Um, what's called will come out before the fake out the the draining kiss. So I am liking that. Try is just coming out on him too, but is that just for healing moves? Yeah, it's just for healing. Moves. That's totally fine. So I am going to draining kiss, and I am going to Dynamax, and I think I might just quake. I think I might just quake over onto the Grimstone slot. He gets off trick room. He gets off trick room. I think it's going to be the play. Start special defense boosting my uh, Garatina. And getting after it. Like, even though it's not stab, I like the boost. We are going to be plus two. And if it doesn't KO this Grimstarl, then I can roll out into a draining kiss over onto the Grimstarl slot. And potentially pick up the KO. Make a move, fool. Make a move. So here's my Dynamax. We getting after it with Garatina again. This thing is an awesome Pokemon. I do have a Zekron team lined up for you guys. Uh, Kyrim, White... Uh, who else do I have lined up? A, a Groudon and a Lugia team. I think Lugia is going to come up next. Lugia or Zekrom is going to be next. Actually, let me know in the comment section down below who, who you guys would like to see first. Zekrom or Lugia. Right in the comment section. Let your boy know. There goes that Draining Kiss. Dude, this thing already has 580 HP. That's, that's, that's absurd. That's a lot. That is a lot. With that boost. And he is going to drop a Light Train. Smart little play there. Smart little play. And I think Trick Room's going to come out here. It might, that's probably gonna happen. Here goes this. I could actually uh, cancel out a trick room. That thing is eating up. Eating up with that light screen. Eating up all day with that light screen. There goes our special defense boost. I really wanted that. I did really want that. And trick room is gonna pop. Okay. So now trick room is popping. I feel like I, I trick room as well. 
I feel like I trick him as well. Or I could just drain the kiss and do as much damage up on you. And then trick him next turn. And just Wormwind? That's totally Wormwind. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. I am going to Wormwind over on the slot. I'll trick him next turn. I am going to trick him next turn. Drain the kiss comes out here. Yo! Do some damage. Get after him. Get after him. Get after that ledge queen is definitely helping him out. Sucker Punch can come out here. Block. Get out of my face. Here impulse. Oh! Hell there! What are you doing? Dude, this thing's rocking eerie impulse. Now we're now we're back to even. Weak policy means nothing. Means nothing. This dude's eating us up this game. This dude is going to eat us up. Alright. I see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing, man. This dude's crazy. This dude is crazy. I'm gonna drain a kiss and I am going to get after uh I want a phantasm but I can't and I am gonna get after uh you. I think I double up into him. Oh we're not we're not gonna do a lot of damage. I have to go I have to go here again. I might have to swap out my Garatina. Just have him in the back end. He's gonna withdraw from Snarl. Butter biscuit. And Tabu Fini is gonna come out here. The Finsters. The Finsters for the Misty Surge. Oh, that hurts. That one hurts. That one really hurts. Alright. Granny Kiss can come out here. Oh, we Dynamax way too early. Which, which was fine. I feel like we uh, this was the right time to Dynamax. He just has eerie impulse. It's rocking out up against us. He set up the screens and he's just playing this one this super, super well. Here's my Wormwind. Going to do absolute nothing. Nothing. With minus two in the Misty Surge. It's done. Garatine is done here. Okay. Uh, what's the play here? What is the play? Hmm. I don't know what is the play here. It's looking a little tough for you, boy. It's looking a little tough for you, boy. Um, this thing probably has a cover. I'm just gonna keep getting after you. He's gonna go for a fairy move. In that case, I swap Garatina. I get out my boy Gyarados. Just so my stats go back up and I don't just get just get absolutely man dangled there. I could ally switch next turn. I do have power whip. I have a lot of coverage moves here as well. This one's gonna be a tough one. This one's gonna be a tough one for you, boy. I wonder. What, I don't think he's gonna Dynamax. I really do wonder what he's gonna do. I think he's just gonna play a slow game with this. The Porygon, and roll off from there. Gyarados comes out. Intimidate does nothing, but I just want to get him out here so he can eat up this uh, Moon Blast or whatever he's gonna throw at us. He might calm mine. If he calm mines, it's a beautiful turn by him. In any case, just trying to do as much damage as I can over to the finish slot. He doesn't have a reflect up. Battle Play's gonna come out here. We eat. We eat. That's Tasty Snack and Moon Blast is gonna double up into us. And we're gonna build that up as well. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's doing a lot of damage. Alright, so that does reveal its life orb. I am going to heal you up. And I am going to uh, go for a power whip. And try to do as much damage as I can. Let's get it. Let's get it, Gyarados. Get that assault best. After this heal, we should be chilling. If I have to heal again, I will. I wouldn't mind healing. Does this uh, Porygon have recover? Does that mean Triage would just first turn prioritize that? And then you can just heal up? Be pretty dope. Because he did trace my Triage ability. I don't think he's going to die, Max. I don't. I think he's thinking of what to do. He might swap here. Or he might be trying to predict an ally switch. Would you go for it? I didn't, I'm not sending it. Floral Healing is coming out here. Hey, heal me up, baby. Give me some health. Give me some health. Give it up. Thank you very much. Bring me up. I'm missing a fool. That place is going to drop here again. And here comes uh, another Moon Blast. Oh, over on the Confi. Fine. And I'll be able to get off a nice little power whip here. Land. Yes, sir. Can, I, can we get the KO? I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, we are. There's no reflect on the field. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful turn, Gyarados. That is a beautiful turn. I can, uh... No more Trick Room. That's awesome. No more Trick Room. Uh, what do I want to do? I might come after this thing with a Waterfall, try to get a flinch. I might heal it up again. Oh, but he has Sogaleo. But Sogaleo is just going to go for a Steel move on the me. I, so I am going to Floral Heal this turn. I am going... I could go for an EQ. I could go for a Waterfall. I might try to get after a Sogaleo. Say he does get off a trick room. Put Garatine in the back. 
He does have an eerie impulse, which I, I don't like. I'm gonna get after his Porygon. I really need his Porygon out of the way. He might protect this turn. Let's see what he does. I'm definitely healing up my Gyarados. I need him healed up. No withdrawal Porygon. Okay. And he's gonna send out who? Grimstarl. Okay, so Grimstarl's gonna come out here, try to probably get off a Reflect. Hopefully we can KO with this. And he is gonna Dynamax. He's gonna end up Dynamax and probably still Spike, look for that defense boost. Okay. That's fine. We have two special attackers in the back end. And, uh... And we have that Babiri Barrier. So maybe I can go here and waste a turn. Hopefully I can eat up this Steel Spike if he's coming in with the Steel Spike. And be able to ally switch next turn. And, uh, waste two Dynamax turns. Let's see what happens here. Here goes the Floral Healing. Gonna give Gyarados back into his Cause I, I'm trying to keep this thing alive as long as I can. This is a good battle. This is a good battle here. But this is gonna determine it. If he can, uh... If we can uh, get through this Dynamax. Here goes a Waterfall. Do we pick up KO? Hopefully. Oh my lord, that's, that's whack. Rockfall. Oh, he's Rockfalling. Eat this up, Gyarados. Eat up. Say, yo, dude, that's tasty. Oh, oh, you're going there for comp? Okay. Now I feel like I just drain and kiss so he doesn't get off a shot. Now I think we just drain and kiss here. Oh, Buffett's going to take him out. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh, I could ally switch here. I, I think I am going to ally switch here. He's going to try to drop a rock. But yeah, now I'm going to ally switch. He's going to get out Porygon 2. And we're going to try to get after this. Trace is coming out. Intimidate. Oh, yo. oh you, you biscuit, man. You really just intimidated me with a Trace? <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, let's out. Switch. Like I said, I'm just trying to waste out turns here. Good swap. I really could swap. I'm gonna try to waterfall on you. Ally switch, baby. Yeah, ally switching. They're on minus one. I don't like that. I wish he would have took my triage ability. It's whack. <laughs> is he gonna go for a, another trick room? I, I wonder what the speed of Sogalio is. That's a cool Pokemon. Giant Lion. Giant Lion, baby. Or Tiger. No, it's a Lion. Lions have the main. But now I'm going to send my ally switch. Hopefully he doesn't predict this one. I think he was trying to predict it like twice. And we didn't send it. Now he's going to go for a Rock Ball. Go over into my Garrett slot. Thank you. <laughs> so there we go. Wasted two Dynamax turns out. That was big for us. And he get, he's not getting a boost from it. He's just Steel Typing. He's just Steel Typing. Hopefully maybe we can get a flinch here. See what he does. Maybe we can get a flinch off here. No flinch. And he is gonna set up a trick. Okay, so so Galia was faster. Everybody. Uh who do I get out? I think I gotta get out Garakino, right? And this is gone. I could drop a Drake Meteor. Probably just gonna try to eerie impulse on me. But I can go here. Or I can go Regilect. What do I want? Trick Room is in effect, so I'd rather save Regilacky. I think I might just protect this turn and get after that uh, Porygon. So I'm going to protect it, and I think I'm just going to bounce this turn. I don't, I don't, this thing could be weakness policy. Could Shadow Balls. But I am going to protect. I don't just want to get Eerie Impulse. And be out that way. Hmm. But we do, we're just trying to waste out these Dynamax. We really are. Let's see what he does. Let's see, what are you going to do, kind sir? It's a good battle. It's a real good battle. That Porygon's coming to bite us, though. He really is. And I don't like it one bit. I don't like that Porygon one bit. It's really annoying. You just really bother me. <laughs> we're going to protect here so Eerie Impulse doesn't come through. Foul play. Oh, he's going for a foul play. Oh, oh, we doing that. He's doing that. He's proccing his own policy. Go after my Garatina. Go after my Garatina. You know we're minus one. I'm bouncing. Actually, go after my Garatina. Go after my Garatina. <laughs> Please. Please go after my Garatina. He foul played on his own Sogalia. Steel Spike's coming out here. Okay, so he's heading over there. Uh, we have the Protect roll in here. We're going to be able to eat. He gets a defense boost, which only really affects my Garatina. We do have Garatina here. The Dynamax turns are over. Are over here. And Buffets are chipping away on his Porygon. Porygon's really, really bold. I don't like one bit. I can't believe Gyarados still takes it. Oh, and the Light Screen finally wears off. Finally! 
So now I can head into a nice little shadow ball. Over on the Sogalia. He's posing a big threat now. Porygon 2 is... It's still posing a threat with the eerie, eerie Impulse. He might go into that. But I am going to bounce on this thing. Even, maybe I can get a Paralyze on it. That would be nice. That would be wonderful. But I think Trick Room is not his friend here. He's going to recover. Okay. That's that's perfectly fine by me. If I can take out this Solgaleo. With this Shadow Ball. Which we might be able to. It doesn't have a Light Screen up. Get it out of here. Do him dirty, man. Do him dirty. So close. So close. You guys are bounce. Give me a Paralyze or something. Give me a Paralyze. Show it to me. Oh, but yes, sir. Yes, sir. You love to see it. Big old power from him. Rock Side's coming out here. Uh, we should be able to eat. Gyarados is going to go down to buff. That, that's a little whack. But, okay, that's that's kind of fine. Because I know my boy Garatina will outspeed the Sogaleo right now. And then I do have... Uh, I do have Regilecki in the back. And he has an eerie impulse to any of my Pokemon. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good one. But I'm just going to try to drop a Shadow Ball on the Sogaleo. And then roll out after Sporygon Z. Let me see... The Trick Room turns? Two. That's beautiful. That, that works better for us, to be honest. She's going to go th for Thunderbolt and then into a, another Shadow Ball. That's our play. That is our play. I feel like he used Trick Room and it didn't help him out. I think I think that's what kind of happened. It's not helping him out. Foul Play's going to come out here. We should be able to eat. Yep. Thank you, Garatina. You're so bulky. I love it. Shadow Ball. KO Solgaleo. And then we should be chilling here. We should be fine. Right? I think we should be fine here. Because say he recovers next turn. Or if he doesn't recover, he's dead. Sandstorm subsides. He's paralyzed. And I'm kind of just waiting for a paralyzed turn to come out here. Let's just hit it up here. I could protect. I could protect just in case. I could, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to try to get after this thing. Maybe he's maybe paralyzed and lose his turn. He's going to recover. Good thing I didn't. I'm dropping a Draco Meteor on this thing. I'm getting after it. We trying to get this KO here. And Light Screen's gone. And we are even on stats because you never hear you impulse us again. Here goes my Meteor. I was going to protect. Good thing I didn't. I do as much damage as I can over onto this thing. He's eating up. Pretty bulky. We are dropping our stats, though. So. I'm going to be able to go for a T-Bolt. Doing as much damage as I possibly can. Like I said, all I need is a... Oh, there goes the Trick Room. That works out great for us. And we should be actually able to pick up the win here. I go for an Earth Power. Now I'm gonna go here. Because if both these moves connect, we, we win this game. Battle was canceled. Let's go. Yo, we played that second battle so well, and we pick up our second win for today's video. I thought that last battle was over once he eerie impulsed my Garatina in the beginning. But we played so well in that second half, was able to dig out of our hole and get ourselves that win. That was an awesome battle right there. Long drawn out, and we played phenomenal. Third battle coming at you guys, and you guys already know the deal. We're looking for that perfect record for the jeans all along. I'm going to baby. Looking for it for you guys. I didn't do that last video, but we made up for it with this one in today's video. He's got a Whimsicott and Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with Thunderous, Urshifu, Rillaboom, and Incineroar Gyarados. You gotta come in here he's physical attack out the wazoo uh did i just say wazoo i don't think i ever said wazoo in my life <laughs> but we just said it today who should i go into i kind of want to go mammoth swine garatina i'm kind of liking that hmm. i am kind of liking that i think the only pokemon we are not showing off today is going to be uh it's going to be celestial but that's more so for like trickers so i'm fine with that final spot do i go regilecki yeah, let's get Regilecki in here. Let's get him up in here, baby. Let's get after this one. Come on, I want this 3-0. If not, we still had some awesome first two battles. First battle, we dominated with Caratina. Showed off his bulk and his weakest policy proc. We did show off his bulk again in second battle, but we just played really, really well. We swapped at the right time. We made right moves and all that good stuff. It was, it was a great battle. It was a really good battle. And here we go. He goes Wimscott and Caliber. All right. I see you, kind sir. I see what you're trying to do. I need to get rid of that Calyrex. I need to say, Ayo, Calyrex. Get him out of here. We need to get that thing out of here. We are going to go Mammo. And I am going to Dynamax. A nerve is popping. Pressure's popping. But no berries. Uh, we are going to Ice Shard. We're on to Garatina. I am going to Dynamax. And you guys already know, we're getting that Phantasm over on this Calyrex. I'm not trying to deal with it. I'm really not trying to deal with it. He's probably going to Dynamax him, not even going to lie. Maybe I shouldn't have even, like, hit myself. Because he's probably going to proc my policy. 
That's probably is what's gonna happen. So maybe I shouldn't even have touched him. Right? Yeah, he's dying maxing. I probably just should have went for like an icicle shard over onto Whimsicott, because that would have taken out his sash and KO'd him probably because it's a multi-heading move. But he's shadow riding. He is shadow riding here. Garakina should be bulky enough to eat up a shot from this end. Should this should be a tasty snack for him. He, sh he should go into the snack cabinet, whip out a bowl, pour himself a snack, and eat it up. That should be his thing for today. <laughs> but I'm hoping, I'm hoping, if we pop policy, we can at least KO this thing. I don't know. It seems very, very bold. It's, it's scary how bulky he is. I don't like it. I probably should have read, led Regilecki. Oh, he's going to help his hand too. Hey, hey, chill on me. Chill on me. I probably should have led Regilecki and get off some eerie impulses. That could be huge. Just minus two drop this thing. He's helping hand. He's going to try to get after me. And I knew I shouldn't have a uh, proc policy. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Dude, Calyrex is too good. This thing's too good. He just won the game. He just won the game. I definitely got to show off them Pokemon. But he, he just won the game. That's GG's. That is GG's. He's setting up. It's over with. I don't know what to do. Actually, there is something I can do. There is one thing I can do. Got an eerie impulse. And I shard over onto that. That one's got. The only thing I can do. Is get after it. I mean, that icicle spear. We're getting after you. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta be like, hey, calories. Do that, and then maybe I'll paralyze the next turn. I don't like this one bit. He's tailwinding now. Ooh, go after Mammoth Swine. I need him to go after Mammoth Swine. Because I have a sash on that thing. No, I'm dead. This gun's so over with. <laughs> oh my lord. Please, no. Have mercy. <laughs> have mercy on me. Oh, you guys are witnessing a beatdown for the century. Hopefully I can pick up a KO. Actually, I should be able to pick up KO. We're not getting swept here. Icicle Spear's gonna come out here. Bop on this thing. If it does KO, I'm gonna Ice Shard next turn. I'm not going down without a fight. But this <laughs> one's totally over. Get him. I need four hits, I think. Maybe three will do the trick. Oh, we're gonna need four. Come on, Mammo. Give it the four. Give it the four. Give it the four. Give it the four. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. But yeah, dude, this, this Shadow Rider Calyrex is insane. I do have a Shadow Rider Calyrex team ready to go, which I do have to show off soon. I do have to show off soon. Let's get out Gyarados. Maybe we can do something here. Um, He's outspeeding me all day. So whoever, I, I'm hoping he chooses the Mammoth Swine. He's going to go Thunderous. I need him to choose the Mammoth Swine. <laughs> of course he has Thunderous, too. It's just going to rip on me. Like, I'm dead. It's over with. I need him to miss. I need his Thunderous to miss. He's defiant. <laughs> He's defiant too. This battle could not go any worse. This, could, this battle could not go any worse. Uh, bu -bu bump. We're gonna go icicle spear over on thunderous. Like I'm dead. I'm so dead. We we'll go for a waterfall, I guess, over here. Mamoswine's gonna survive because of the sash. Oh, thunderous protects. Hold up. He protects. Hold up. Go for phantasm. Go over onto my mamoswine. Hold up! I still need him to miss. I still need him to miss. Like, wait, I'm not KOing anything here. Nothing's happening. He's just dropping my D. He still outspeeds me all dang day. <laughs> I took a spear. Blah. I am gonna go for a shard. I'm gonna try to do as much damage as I can over to it. Waterfall. Good work, Gary. Good work, Gary. Alright. There's the play. He's, he's plus one on attack and he's plus two on special attack. I go for a shard here. Go protect. I could totally protect. But I'm gonna go for a shard. I'm gonna go for a waterfall. I need I need them to start missing. Miss. I need I need everybody to start missing except for my team. Ice shard doing some damage. Not bad. That was a decent amount. Astro barrage. Alright, we're we're both dead. We're both dead. Eat it. Eat it, Gary. Gary eats! Hold up! We need Thunderous to miss! We need to miss. <laughs> this thing is boosted out of its mind. I knew this battle was a goner from the beginning. Once he KO'd my guarantee, and I was like, bro, I'm done. Couldn't even get off a shot. There goes the wild charge. It's GG. GG 2 1 for today's video. Had very, very strong first battle and second battle and third battle. We just got absolutely dumpstered on. There's nothing I could do about it.
One last shout out to my boy Noah for dropping this team. Seriously, it was amazing. Went 2-0, dominated that first battle. Second battle, we played very, very well. And third battle, you guys already know. I couldn't really do too, too much about it. But the Garatina was amazing. Once you set up policy for him, he can do a lot of damage. Plus, he is super, super bulky. And I'm glad we got to show that off. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.